So let's work through adding a catch-all to your new domain. So let's log into the admin console. We get to the dashboard. If we just take a look at the users that we have, we'll see that we have help at, help at techstack.com, right? That's one of our users. We created it. It's a brand new domain that we just showed you guys how to set up and add in, in G, G Suite or Google Workspace. Now, since we added that, we do have this email. So it's help at tech stack. Well, I also want to utilize support at tech stack and info at tech stack and welcome at tech stack. And each time that I create a new user, it's going to cost $6 or $8 or $12. It just depends on what, you know, what service you're using. But here it's either $6 or $12 for each user that you add. So if I only need them to display or utilize for customers to email in and I can respond from, you know, one of the main email addresses, then what you're going to want to do is set up a catch-all. So a catch-all is you're, you're actually going to find inside of apps, Google Workspace, and then you're going to go to Gmail. And it's going to have something called default routing. If you click on default routing, that's going to bring you to some rules that you can set up. Now, to set up a catch-all, the way that you want to do it, the correct way, is you're going to want to create, instead of a single recipient, a pattern match. Okay, so you'll see single pattern group all pattern match. So we're going to search the pattern that's going to be at tech stack.com so any email that comes in to at techstack.com we're also going to create a subject and that subject is going to say catch all now what this allows us to do in the subject is any email that comes in that's not related to an email address that is a real email address it will put the words catch all in front of it and you can change that to any term that you feel so as you go down you're going to want to select also deliver to and you're going to want to add a recipient we're going to add help at techstack.com because that's the recipient email that we want all non-recognized email addresses to go to and we're also going to make sure that this top one is selected. Perform this action only on non-recognized addresses. Not to perform it on both all non-recognized and recognized. We just want it on non-recognized. So those are the three things we're going to do. Right? At techstack.com, prepend the custom email subject line, and then add more recipients and add help at techstack.com. This option should always be selected by default. We're going to hit save. That is going to save that right here. The reason that we do it with a pattern is that if we didn't do it with a pattern and you have multiple domains on your Google, uh, Google suite or your workspace, it's going to share the catch-all with all of those emails. So anytime something is wrong with, or some email comes in array from a different domain, it's going to go to wherever that catch-all is. And you want to do it specifically. So you're going to want to use the pattern. So now let's go back and let's take a look at that. Let's actually go to one of our email addresses and let's send an email over to dogs meet at techstack.com actually before I spell it wrong so at techstack.com so then we're going to go to subject line and we're going to say dogs are running test email catch all and we'll go to the body and we'll write testing 
email catch all again okay so then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna click send now we're gonna go back to that email address we just logged into now this is our email address which is help text help at techstack.com if you look just now look what we got what did we get we received an email from the email address I explained it takes and puts that subject right in front of it catch all so we know that this did not come in to, to the e email which we're in, which is help at techstack.com. It actually came in to dogsmeet at techstack.com. And it keeps our subject to show catch-all. So that's how you set up a catch-all, and that's how a catch-all works. If we were to go back and we were to, let's say we... Let's compose another one. And we will go to, well, let's, let's, let's do another one. Support at techstack.com. We'll put a subject in Okay, and then we're going to say, please help me. So this is at support at techstack.com. We're going to send that email. And we'll go over there and take a look. So again, I had settings open over here. I was just looking around at a few things. So we'll click the inbox. And look at that. So right now we have, I am having trouble creating catch-all in my Google account please help me take a look at where it came from it came from support at, or it came into support at techstack.com that's how easy it is for you to set up especially if you have multiple domains if you have multiple domains that is the only way you can set it up to make it function right and if you have any issues trying to set it up, shoot a comment on the video or reach out to us. But that is exactly how it works. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing to have, especially when you want to utilize different email addresses and have them come into one inbox without having to pay, you know, six, eight, ten, twelve dollars an uh, email and have 50 emails or 10 or five or eight emails on one device or have to log into each one of them. It's just a way, way, way better option to utilize a catch-all. So that's how a catch-all works. And we'll be back with another video soon.